What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey everybody. Sorry, just give me like a second. I'm like I'm like just finishing lunch, so just hold on one second, let me get my stuff. Ah so good. Alright, what's up, ma'am? How's everybody living? Yeah. Okay. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Um, no, dude, skills. I just saw that you had posted. I didn't get a chance to watch it yet. I'll definitely check that out after the stream. Oh, thanks, dude. <laughs> you like <laughs> like my pen? Where is my good pen? Oh, let me see if I can have find like a legit pen, not like a goofy one like that. Let me see. Okay, I guess that's guess that's what we're using. All right, dude. So, what's up? What's up? What's up? Um, oh, dude, skills. You beat my time. That's sick, dude. I gotta watch that vid. Okay, so, excuse me. A couple things that I want to do today. I want to do some math. I was gonna open up one of my ELA sections for you guys and check out the poem there too. And to answer your question, Wiz, what do I think of the 2019-2020 handbook? Do I think the real test could be like it or harder? Well, the real test could be like it, for sure. But would it be harder than a real test? I don't know. Like, sometimes they make the real test easier. Sometimes they make it harder. The handbook is, like, supposed to be, like, in my opinion, the handbook is, like, the most center one. So it's not supposed to be too hard. It's not supposed to be too easy. It's supposed to cover basically what you should know that type of stuff what's up what's up what's up yeah i know graph paper dude still too lazy to go to cvs that's um i'm just too lazy to go to cvs yeah okay so yeah if it's too easy that's fine i was actually going through the old student handbook i want to show you guys the old student handbook so let me all right cool so let me put it on the right screen just give me a second because i'm I was behind today, dudes. I was supposed to be, it's just been a, it's been a lot of work today, I guess, but that's a good thing too. It's like, who cares? Okay. Get rid of that. All right. Let me pull this up. Yeah. OBS. Okay. Okay. All right, so this is the old handbook from forever ago. And so I wanna to talk to you about this and I wanna to talk to you how it would relate to the, the test that we're gonna be taking in the fall. Yeah. Okay, so this is it. This is specialized studentized, or studentized, student handbook. We can scroll through like the fast, you know, the, the fat part of it really quick, but I really wanna just get to the actual test itself. Let's see, ah, okay. So let's look at this math section, just because you guys are normally pretty good at math, and I know you, relatively you guys could like get used to it. Let me get rid of this sidebar really quick. Okay, cool. So here's what it looks like. This is what the old one looks like, right? Notice the algebra, like look at this problem number 55. Notice the algebra in it. It's slightly more advanced. You know what I mean? Nothing crazy, but slightly more advanced. So um, let's actually do this one. Let's see, let me do this one really quick. I'll write it down and then we'll do it. And I'm not gonna give you guys the answer choice. You guys are good enough, you don't need it. Yeah, I mean, this isn't like crazy advanced. But then yeah, let's get let's get that answer then.
Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. Dude. Dude. <laughs> All right. You guys absolutely crushed this. Yeah. And I'm not, I just, yeah, too many people got this right. Wow. Yeah, this is just cross multiplication, dudes. That's all we're dealing with here is just cross multiplication. But just when you do the cross multiplication, you have to distribute. So yeah, we get 43 plus n on one side, but then we have to do three times the quantity of seven plus n. So it'd be 21 plus three n on the right side. Um, and then most people can solve it from here. But yeah, n is 11. Really nice, dude, really, really nice. Okay, cool. So that was literally the easiest thing you guys have ever seen. And I thought that wouldn't be hard. Okay, <laughs> let me see if I can get another one that's hard then. Uh, where's this hand black out here? Okay, here we go. Um, do, 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 do. That's a really good one. Oh, we did this one yesterday. This one was chill. Um, let's see. Oh, where's that clock problem? And this is just to give you an example of like kind of the um, creative nature of the test and how they don't need to use advanced concepts in order to trick you. Like, let's look at number 95. You guys see this one? Let's look at number 95, right there. What do you guys think about this one? I bet I can make it bigger. Yeah, yeah, all right, cool. All right, so what do you guys think about this one? Some of you seem to be familiar with this problem, which is crazy to me. Yeah, we can do ELA today too. I was going to do a poetry thing too. What's up, Geek Fleek? Maybe a harder problem than you guys thought originally. Oh. I'll give you guys a little bit more time on this one. Pierre, what's up, Pierre? <laughs> okay, I'll give you guys like 30 more seconds on this one. Isn't this a crazy problem? Like, it's just one of those problems where it's like, yeah, yeah, exactly. It's just one of those problems where it's like you either have like the creative mathematical mind to figure this out or like it's it's just super hard. Because I mean, it's the same it's just an easy concept, but it's hidden behind some stuff. Skills. <laughs> okay. So, all right, Wiz is in. Okay, cool. I'm going to go over this now. Leo all right, cool. I'm going to go over this one. <laughs> okay, so I don't know the answer to this one, which kind of makes tutoring fun because I, I don't know how this is going to shake out. A, B, C, D, E, F is a regular hexagon. The arrow in it, okay, rotates at a constant rate of five revolutions a minute. Okay. <laughs> it, that means every 12 seconds, I guess. If the arrow points to A for the first time at zero seconds, as shown... 
How many seconds will elapse before the arrow points to B for the eleventh time? Uh, okay. So when it says that it rotates five revolutions per minute, remember per means to divide, bros. Then that means that you know every second, because um, in one minute there are sixty seconds. And so we can cross out here and cross out there. And so what we get is five revolutions for every 60 seconds. Then we can divide that and it'd be one revolution every 12 seconds. That's just reducing this fraction here. So every 12 seconds, it's gonna make a revolution. So I wanna know how many seconds will pass before it hits B an 11th time. So then that's gonna be 10 full revolutions plus one extra little click to get to B. And let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it's gonna rotate, let's say six. It's gonna go all the way around six times. So how many seconds does it take to go around one? Oh, so two seconds for each one. Okay, so it's gonna make 10 revolutions. So that's going to already be 120 seconds. Okay, plus if it takes one revolution in 12 seconds, that means it has to hit A, B, C, D, E, F. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. This makes it around in 12 seconds. Oh, I gotta move this. It makes it around this in 12 seconds. Okay, and there's six points to get to. So between each point, we can assume that's two seconds two seconds, right? Another two seconds, and then another two seconds, and then the final two seconds, and that's 12. Two, four, six, eight. Whoa, really? Actually, it's only 10. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I just draw this wrong? One, two, three, four, five. Did I just draw this wrong? How did this work? I should have six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. How did I know? Oh, I have this additional one in here. Duh. <laughs> okay, so it takes two seconds to go to each point. So it's going to take 120 seconds to go around 10 times and then plus two more seconds to get around the last time. So we have to add that two seconds and 122 is the answer. And everybody got that. For, more, like, for the most part, a lot of people got that, which is really great. Dude, good job. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah uh i think yeah exactly okay good job dude it's really good i don't know if i explained that perfectly just because i was trying to solve it as i was explaining it but i mean absolute crushville bros let's see here uh, oh this is the firefighter from thing problem i gave you yesterday Let's see. Oh, this is a good one. I like this one. Let's do this. Um, problem 84, guys. Problem 84. Daquan sold X hot dogs. <laughs> Another one. Let's do it. Also, notice how there's five answer choices. That's how they used to play with this. Like, they made it easier by taking away an answer choice. <laughs> yeah, no meme has died faster than DJ Khaled. He, he, like, was so everywhere, and then he was absolutely nowhere in, like, the course of a year. Sports show. Wiz, Tenzin, okay, Leo's got K, Wiz, I got you, Geek, Skills has got K, Tenzin, you gotta pick, bruh, favorite, favorite specs, dude, that, that's so funny. That plus press F to pay respects. It's like, oh my god. 
gamers unite uh yeah we can do ninth grade actually yeah let's go let's dip into the ninth grade section after that alicia's got k what's up alicia yashin's got k too rodney oh venna crunchy Ooh, so people were thinking f and then people were thinking k i wonder what happened here maybe if you do it quickly you can make a mistake i don't know Maybe for the longer you think about it, the more likely you are to make a mistake. I don't know. All right, let's go over this. I feel like you guys, enough people kind of got it in here. All right, Daquan sold X hot dogs. Caitlin and Daquan together sold 5X minus two hot dogs. Okay, in terms of X, how many hot dogs did Caitlin sell? Okay. So we know that, or which I got to keep it over here. We know that X equals the amount of hot dogs Daquan sold. And we know 5x minus 2 is the amount of hot dogs that this girl, Caitlin, sold. Okay. So, then we have to figure out how many did she sell? Oh, but this is actually Caitlin and Daquan together. Okay. So, this is another system of equations, whether you guys see it or not. Right? So, here's the equation. Bang, bang, bang. Right, we got how many hot dogs Daquan sold and the combination of Chelsea, Caitlin, and Daquan. I just know Daquan because the meme account on, on Instagram. Uh, Chelsea, uh, uh, Caitlin, and Daquan sold 5x minus 2. So let's substitute in what we know here because we know that D equals X, right? So whenever I say D, I can put an X so we can rewrite this. 5x minus 2 equals c plus x. We can subtract that x from each side, and what we end up with is 4x minus 2. That's k. Bang. All day. And for those of you put f, I'm interested in how you got to that um, conclusion. If it was just like a division thing, or is 2 an answer choice? No. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, so that's how this one goes down. I don't know if you guys have any other questions about it, but really once you get this going on, which is honestly what it says is just, can you translate words into algebra? That type of thing. Um, I wonder what this one is. Hold on, this, okay. Oh my gosh, look at this problem, dudes. Look at this problem. Look at this problem. This used to be on the SHSAT, dudes. Do you see how hard this is? What is even going on here? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> okay. Based on the table above, which of the following best represents the value of Y when X equals zero? Whoa. <laughs> You're asking for ninth grade questions. Good luck on this eighth grade question, man. This is crazy. Yeah, dude, <laughs> people are just quitting. <laughs> They're just like, nah, 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 no thanks. No thanks. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, the only thing I will say is try to notice a pattern here. Just try to notice the pattern. That's all I'm gonna say is try to notice the pattern. Okay. And uh, Geek and Tenza and Geek and uh, Phoenix, how'd you get this, bro? Tenzin, you got B, I got you. Sports show? Oh, I don't know if that's a guess. Venna? Pattern. Yeah. Oh, that's a good question, Rachel. Let's do that one next. Yep. Yep. Dude, good job. Good job. So, guys, check in the chat. People are saying pattern, pattern, pattern. Look for the pattern. Henry? Yeah. All right. You guys got this. Good job, dudes. Excellent job. Excellent job.
absolutely excellent job. So you guys were looking for the pattern and what you notice is that, let's start at four when X is four, we have two A's and B over five. When X is three, we only have one A. When X is two, we have no A's. And when X is one, we have negative one A. That's going down one every time. Look at that fraction. It goes down one every time. No, we don't need to remember that. Tens and it's all, it's all good, dude. Don't even trip. <laughs> I know you were just joking, dude. I know you're just memeing. It's okay. <laughs> But yeah, this is a hard question, dudes. Now, let me show you the legit algebraic way to solve this one, and let's see if it actually blows your mind. So what we have to do is we have to build an equation that works for each of these. And what the equation would actually look like would be uh, y equals um, x minus 2 times the quantity of a minus b over the quantity of x plus 1. This is the equation that they were maybe thinking that you could find it. But you could always just find a pattern because this is going to be minus 2 and that's going to be plus 1 every single time. And if you guys could just notice that straight off the rip, just going from the 4 to the 3 to the 2 to the 1, then yeah, you can do this one too. But yeah, this is the equation that you would have to find in order to solve this algebraically. That just goes to show you that sometimes finessing the test is the smartest way to do it. Because even doing this, I just had to do it in my head. And you know, I've been doing this forever, so I can know how to do it. But this is really hard to find. All right, so people have been asking about uh, eighth grade, or I'm sorry, yeah, ninth grade. And this book actually does have some ninth grade stuff in it, or not this book, um, this test. So let's actually peek that and let's, like, let's see what they had going on even back then. Um, yeah, this is pulling back the curtain a little bit and how this is done. Oh, this is already the answers. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so this is ninth grade stuff. No sweat for dudes like you. Um, I want to do this. Oh, whoops. I regret everything. Hold on. <laughs> I regret everything. Okay. <laughs> I want to do this number four, okay? I want to do number four. So let's do that. All right, I'm going to scroll a little bit. Mm, which way do I need to scroll? This way. Okay, let's do number four. Nah, static's not going to be a... Dude, static's, static is going to be on 51, dude. That's just how it rolls. You think it's going to be 54, Wiz? Oh, Rachel, your problem. We'll do it next. My bad, my bad. Can you like repost it in the chat though so it's closer to the top? Okay, Wiz has got K. Oh wait, I, I need a new piece of paper. Oh, you think it's going to be 53? All right, I'll remember that. You think it's going to be 52, Neil? Dude, I'm telling you, it's going to be 51. It's getting closer to area 51. Are all the, all the lines are equal? Uh, I, I don't know that, bro. Yeah, I don't know that. Skills? Dude, I'm excited to watch that speedrun skills. Redouan. Redouan. Phoenix. Okay, you guys are coming down hard on this answer. That's good. I'll give you guys like another minute though, just in case people are working slow and found something else. Alicia. Yeah, 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 yeah. I even go over this. You guys crush, dude. Like you guys are really about it. Like I'm, it's awesome. I'm gonna redraw this thing real quick so we can talk about it. Gio. Neil. Got you, Neil. <laughs> U R S T U. Ah, that's a P? Why would you not do B? Yeah, whatever. Okay. T -t All right, I'm going to go over this just because you guys crushed it so hard. Did I get you, Geek? Get you, Vanna? I got you. 
Yeah, exactly. Dude, Shad, that whatever Shad just said is right. They're not drawn to scale. I could show you a problem that they did not draw to scale. Um, they don't draw to scale on purpose. So you just have to trust the numbers and you have to trust your knowledge of what. Yeah, I think there is a chat delay. I will say that. Um, I haven't really been able to avoid that. All right, so let's go over this one. Um, this is the question, right? And basically it says that those two angles are equal. Q2, QTS and QRS are equal. Um, and that QU and PS are lines, right? Which of the following angles must be equal to QRS? Um, okay, well, if we know that this is equal to that, then we know that this guy is equal just because they're opposite. And so PTU, yeah, it's K. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yep. Wiz has got a good explanation of that. All right. So Rachel had a question that I thought was pretty good. It was like a rate problem. I'm trying to find it in the chat. It was like, it was like a minute ago. Hold up. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. So this is uh this question is from Rachel. I think it's a pretty good one. So I'm going to write it out. Um, so just chill for like two seconds and I'll write this problem out and then you guys can do it. Where, where did you get this problem from Rachel? Ugh, so long. Sorry. Okay, it's a good question though. I, I think it's a pretty legit question, so let's let's do it. All right, so there it is. Courtesy of Rachel. Thanks for the question, Rachel. Let's kick it. Pipe A can fill a tank in four hours. Pipe B can fill a tank in six hours, and pipe C can fill it in eight hours. If all three were filling at the same time, how long will it take to fill the tank? Let's go. What's up, Tony? Oh, yeah, thanks for reposting that, Rachel. Dude, Wiz, what's up with you today, man? You're kicking out answers fast, dude. That's really good stuff. Yeah, dude, and the, the handbook is not that difficult. But you should be able to do all of it because when the pressure's on, like to do 57 math questions and 57 ELA questions in a, out in three hours, like that's a different beast. You know what I mean? Definitely, definitely. Pierre, got you, bro. Sports show. Alicia. Neil. Is that your answer, uh, Pierre? Now you changed it or something? All right, I'll give you guys like a 30 more seconds on this. Yeah, you were so fast on that whiz. How did you, how did you get that fast, bro? <laughs> Are you like sitting next to like a NASA engineer or something? Like, what is up? 
not that you'd have to be a NASA engineer to answer this. Um, all right, cool. So yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, some people do use calculators during the stream, but you're not going to get a calculator on the test. So you practice, you play like you practice, you know what I mean? So pipe A can fill it in four hours. Pipe B can fill it in six hours. And pipe C can fill it in eight hours. Okay. Um, so bang, bang, bang. What is the best way to do this? Um, what is the best way to do this? Well, how did you guys do this actually? First and foremost, after seven hours. Oh, okay. We can do that problem, Tony. That's a good one. Um, so yeah, how did you guys get this one? What was your technique? Did you use ratios? Did you use fractions? Like, how did you get this one? Do you use logic and facts? <laughs> Let's see. Each pipe gets, uh, oh, oh. Let's see. So it has to be two hours. Use logic. Let me see. Each pipe gets longer. So all three got released at once. Wait, what? They're filling up a tank or something. Greatest common factor? Hmm. So the way that I see this is what happens after two hours, your answer. This guy will fill up half the tank. This guy will fill up one third of a tank. And this guy will fill up one fourth of a tank. And that's after two hours. Now we can get this into the common denominator here. We can do two or we're going to do 12. So six twelves, four twelves, and three twelves. And if we add these up, what we're going to get is 13 12s. So this is actually more than a tank, right? This is more than a tank at this point. So because of that, we know that two is actually incorrect. And that's one way to check your answer, guys. And I encourage you guys to check your answer on this. So let's, uh, let's see how much it fills up in one hour. After one hour, this is one fourth of a tank. That is one, this is A, B, and C. That is one sixth of a tank. And this is one eighth of a tank. Now we could put them all in the uh, common denominator here, which would be 24. So this would be six out of 24. This would be four out of 24. And this would be three out of 24. So after an hour, they fill up 13 24ths, okay? Are you guys following along with this or nah? Thoughts, surprises, delights? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. So after one hour, they've a little bit more than half the tank. Okay. So another way we could do this is just by having their rates. You know what I mean? We could have one fourth X plus one sixth X plus one eighth X needs to equal 100%, right? Or just one, one full tank, right? <laughs> so we can add these up and thank God we've already added them up. So we know 13 over 24 X is gonna equal one. We know 13 X is gonna equal 24 and we know X is gonna equal 24 over 13. That's how long it's gonna take. <laughs> yeah, everybody like and subscribe for respect. <laughs> so this is how many hours it's going to take. That's it. 24 over 13 hours. Um, so yeah, this was a super hard question. Thanks for it, uh, Rachel. Let's do a redemption so you guys can get you guys can get your swag back.
Here's your rate problem redemption time. Let's go. A faucet, let me get it all on the screen. No, I gotta zoom out. Hold up. Unenhanced. All right, there it is, that's fresh. Oh yeah, only the freshest. One faucet could fill a tub in two hours. One hose can fill a tub in 30 minutes. One sprayer can fill a tank, tub, in an hour. If I used a faucet, a sprayer, and a hose at the same time, how long would it take to fill 26 tubs? <laughs> Long day, guys. <laughs> Long day. All right, let's do it. Dude, Neil, I hope you beat this tier series, dude. Just keep trying. Don't let, don't give up. Oh, I like that answer, Pierre. I'll give you guys like 30 more seconds, but then I want to go over this one. Ah. Dude, I know I'm getting so close. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm, I'm good. I'm good, bro. I'm, I'm just... <laughs> Yeah, it's just, you know, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Yeah, dude, I am getting close to 800. Thanks, guys, for helping me out with that. Yeah, it's been it's been crazy, but I'm I'm still pushing. I'm still pushing for for 1k. Yeah. Dude, I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, it's dude, I like took a nap right before the stream and I'm like still not like awake from it. I'm still like I'm still like my eyes are like closed like 90% of the stream so far. <laughs> just been like my body's just like why don't you keep napping, bro? <laughs> Henry thinks it's over 7. Okay, I'm going to go over this one just cuz it's it's a really, I think it's a great question. It's just kind of hard. Um I mean, I think it's hard. All right, so obviously my beautiful desktop background. <laughs> yeah, dude. Okay, so we have to ask ourselves what the rate of these is. And so after one hour, let's just call this F, how many tubs cause it, can it fill in an hour? In one hour, this could fill a half of a tub. The hose in one hour can fill two tubs. And this sprayer can just fill one. So our rate of all three of these working together is going to be three and a half tubs every hour. Okay, so let's see if that goes into 26. I'm not totally optimistic about this one, but whatever, bros. Um, so I moved the decimal place over as I like to do, 35. How many times does it go in? Uh, seven, I think seven's pretty legit. Seven, um, five, 30, 21, 24, five. This would be a five now, so it's one, 150. How many times does 35 go into 150? Probably four times. Um, or we could just say 150. Yeah, whatever, we'll do it. So 20, 20, 12, 14. Cool. 
So yeah, the answer is going to be floating around 7.4, 7 7.42. That's how many hours it should take to fill this up. 7.42. Now we could do the math and turn that into minutes for sure, but really it's just going to be 42 over 60. It would be times 100. So uh, actually it wouldn't be 42 over 60. It'd be 0.42 times 60. Um, it would be 0, 12, 1. 2425. Cool. 25.2 2 minutes. So seven hours and 25.2 2 minutes. Yeah, that's the answer. Bang. All right, cool. <laughs> Dudes. Yeah, I'm like napping around this stream. I should just nap from now until the next stream. I swear, dudes. I'm like, that's just where it's at. All right, let's see if I get some other problems for you. Uh, let me see. Yeah, because today, like, all the problems today have just been really hard. Um, I don't even know how this goes down, man. It's crazy. All right, let me see if I can find a, a hard problem for you guys. Ooh, that's a hard one. That's a pretty good one. Hmm. Um. Ooh, that's a really good one. Whoa, whoa. Some of these problems are really tough. Ooh, let's do this one. Yeah, let's do this one. All right, hold up. Yeah, let's do this. 17. Yeah, yeah, this this is a ninth grade question from their ninth grade section, so. <laughs> yeah, where's that static? I like miss it. Oh, it's only been 44 minutes. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like dying here. Oh, nice. Dude, I hope one day to get to 5.6. That's not my answer, bro. Check it again, Venna. I like even started to write it down, too. I was like, oh. How do you know it's B? What's like your what's your method, dude? <laughs> I cannot be <laughs> I cannot be wrong. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'll give you guys like another minute to do this. Redemption arc. Now's the time. Like the prequel memes. Venna. Yeah, there you go, Venna. Three, three and a half. So you, you got, okay. Is it B? I don't know. Yeah, let me look at that question, Rachel. I didn't see that post, but I'll check it out. I'll definitely check it out for sure. I have to just like scroll back. If you could just, oh, there it is. Mike can complete a project 60 minutes. Yeah, we can do that one next for sure. 
Okay, cool. Let me go over this one. All right, so yeah, let me go over this one so y'all y'all can see it. Um, uh, let me do the diagram really quick. Okay, all lines are straight. They intersect. Okay. What is the value of X? Okay, so check this out. Let me actually get rid of that. So check this out. Every time that I go and do this, like, I don't, well, actually, let me zoom in. Sorry. Okay, so what we're dealing with here are similar triangles. How do I know that? Well, for first off, we know that this angle and this angle are equal to each other because they're opposite angles, right? So how do I know that they're similar? Well, they have one, two, tri two angles that are the same. And since this is 90 degree and that's 90 degree, we know that these lines are parallel anyways. So we know that these guys are similar as well. So if, whenever I know I'm dealing with a similar triangle, I break the triangles apart and I put them into an orientation that I like. That's like the most important thing, I think. So this will be act S. We know this is five and this is three. So we don't get it twisted. So we have to figure out how to get from five to six. What do I need to multiply it by? Because then I'm gonna multiply the same thing from this three to get to X down here. So five times this mystery number, we're just gonna call it A, whatever this amplitude is is gonna equal six. I'm gonna divide by five and I'm gonna divide by five. It seems that the amplitude here is six over five. So I just need to multiply this three by the same six over five that I multiplied this by. Three times six over five, 18 over five. We're gonna simplify that to three and three fifths, which is B. Y'all just killed it. Y'all just absolutely murdered this problem. Well done. Really nice. Dude, cool man, cool. So yeah, the static is incoming, just get ready. I'm so excited, three minutes away, who knew? Uh, Rachel had a really good question that I wanted to check out. So let me just roll up and check that real quick. Mm. Okay, so let me write this down. You guys kick it for a second. All right, cool. So here's the question. I'll give you guys like two minutes to do this. Mike completes a project in 60 minutes. Mike and Walter together complete a project in 40 minutes. How long does it take Walter to complete a project by himself? Let's go. It's <laughs> uh, so funny. Yeah, where's the static at? Tenzin, is that your answer, bro? Two hours?
Okay, where's the static? Yeah, it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna eventually start. start. It has to, it has start. to start. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start banging, banging my, my microphone if it doesn't. Twenty twenty. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Somebody said 653 in the chat. Who said, who said it? it? That, that, who's the genius who knew it was going to happen, man? Uh, the chat won't go far back enough for me. I can't tell. I can't tell who said it. But somebody guessed 653. Oh, I wish I remember who it was. <laughs> okay. Yeah, dude, you gotta let the static wash over you. You you can't fight the static. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was you, dude. Nice, nice. Good calling it, Wiz. That's good stuff, bro. Or was it Redwan? I forget. <laughs> oh, people. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to go back and check. I'm gonna have to see who's psychic. I'll, I'll check the chat logs, okay? I will check the chat logs because <laughs> it's important, okay? We got to figure out which one of you, which one of you bros is psychic, okay? <laughs> one of you is. Uh, you got to stop hiding. If you're psychic, tell us what's going to be on the test. All right. <laughs> I thought it was going to be 51. I'm a loser because I thought it was all coming together. I thought the area 51 thumbnail. I thought it was all coming together today, bros, but it just it just didn't, which is unfortunate. Um, leave a like if you love static. Leave a like if I should change these streams to just static playing really loudly. Um, that's something I've been thinking about. So if that's something you like, leave a like. Let us know. Um, if this video gets 500 likes, I'm just going to turn on static for 24 hours a day on my channel. So, yeah, let's see if we can get to 500 likes, guys. <laughs> All right, so let's go through this problem. Uh, I think that's enough. All right. All right, cool. So let's go into this problem. I think this is a great problem. Thanks, Rachel, for, for dropping this, by the way. I think this is really good stuff. Okay, Mike completes a project in 60 minutes. So that's his rate, is one project every 60 minutes. All right, one project an hour, whatever. Together, they can do it in 40 minutes. Okay, so we have... Um, what's the best way I could do this? Um, what is the best way for me to do this? Let me think. It should be in the hours. Yeah, I should do it in the hours. Um, because I could do rate per minute, but I'm going to do it. Why should I do it per minute? Yeah, so I'm going to do it per minute. So every minute... That means Walter or Mike completes, um, this is his rate, 1 60th per minute, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's his rate together, or you could say one project an hour, however you want to say this. Um, but when Mike and Walter are working together, it takes two thirds of an hour. Okay, so Mike uh, equals one hour, his rate. Um, what's the best way to do this that isn't just complicated? Dude, I, I would love to work for Pearson's. If you want to give me a job, I mean, I can even just like fill coffees, you know? <laughs> okay, so let me... One, one thing that you guys should be aware of is that uh, work equals the rate times the time equals the work, okay? So Mike's rate is one times the time, and 
and that equals one project done together. So we know his rate is one per hour. I'm X plus, oh, let's see, should we do that? Yeah, so it'd be one times two thirds, two thirds of an hour, plus Walter's rate, times two thirds of an hour equals one project. Cool. So we know that two thirds Walter plus two thirds equals one. I'm going to subtract two thirds from each side. So two thirds, can you even see this? Yeah. Two thirds Walter equal one third cross multiply. And what we get is six Walter equals three. Walter equals one half. So that's Walter's rate, one half. So yeah, I don't think anybody got that answer. <laughs> I don't think anybody got that answer. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. So let me actually show you guys this. I'm, Cause I didn't do a very good job of explaining these today cause I'm still kind of sleeping from my nap. But uh, I do wanna go over rate problems. Thanks for dropping these questions, Rachel. So that's what's going to be that's what's going to be tomorrow. We're going to do rate problems tomorrow. Um, yeah, because I got to bust out of here. <laughs> yeah, don't be fooled by imitation Tyler Tudors. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah, um, yeah, definitely imitation Tyler Tudor in the chat. But you know, you got to you got to decide for yourself what's the real deal here. It's just like. Um, I, I don't know of a good analogy, like Mega Bloks and Legos, you know what I mean? Or like a Coke and uh, RC Cola, or you know, like the store brand Cola that they make that's in like those big plastic bottles. It's like that. Yeah, he's my twin brother. We were separated at birth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so Rachel, yeah, 30 minutes is the answer to that question. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Actually, that's a good point, Wiz. It, it probably will be 654 tomorrow. That's for sure. That's for sure. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. And guys, I'm going to watch Skill's video. Apparently, he did a speed run through of last year's student handbook, handbook, which is sick. So, yeah, definitely, if you're looking for some more content, definitely check out that video. Shout out to Skills for making the vid. Um, yeah. All right, dude. So, I do got to duck out of here just because I, I think I'm just going to go straight back to bed. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I think that's I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. All right, dude. So a good job today. Next stream will be more organized, I swear. Peace out. <laughs>